Hello everyone, this is Leo from the Pandalorians. In this video I'll be summarising a new PvP system design document that I've created for Star Trek Online. It's 26 pages long and I've put the Google Drive link in the description below so everyone will have access to read it. This document is purely my thoughts on PvP and my ideas of how it could be improved for all players in the game. I've spent a couple of days making it and wow I can tell you it's been so much fun. This system is aimed at providing a new way to PvP in the game while still being able to customise your PvP builds. As part of the design it would be a new PvP mode which will be separate from all the other content in the game. In section 1 is an overview of the current state of PvP. It will show typical builds being used by seasoned players versus brand new player builds. So you will see from by these examples that there is a big difference when two players meet in a PvP arena. It will also explain how PvP has changed over the years. In section 2, this is a new ship tech tree system. It will basically allow players to be able to obtain every ship in the game. It will only be unlocked when players have reached level 65 and obtained tier 5 in all reputations. Players will start with tier 2 ships and work their way up to tier 6 ships. When the ships are unlocked, they will only be allowed to be used on PvP maps, as it is designed to be separate to normal gameplay. In section 3, we come to the new PvP mode ship loadout. I've put example pictures here of set active starship. At the moment we have two main ones. We have the starship and a the shuttle. There will be a third set active PvP ship. Players will be able to change all the items on the ship as well as set their bridge officer abilities. There are loadout options for each tier of ships. Tiers 2 to 3 will have preset gear and bridge officer abilities. Tier 4 has preset gear but players will be able to customise their bridge officer abilities. Tier 5 players can customise their gear and bridge officer abilities. Then at tier 6 players can customise the whole ship and start adding starship traits. Also note that from tier 2 players will need to have already set their reputation traits duty officer and personal traits. These will all be purchased in the standard way so players will need to have these pre-equipped. Now section 4 balancing. Now of course if there was a brand new system being built I would expect these pages to be 4 to 5 times longer. I put a few ideas down based on the new system and how it would work. So for example endeavour points being completely disabled in all PvP maps, as it's really not fair for a player to have 400 points compared to a new player who's played one month and has got 10 points. Also, specialization points. In order for you to use your first tier 6 ship, players would need to have one full primary and one full secondary points active. As we go further down, we come to the economy section. In this section it will show how we will be utilising a gold press latinum, a currency which I feel is hardly used. It explains how players can purchase sea store lobby and promo ships in the ship tech tree. It also shows the rewards for completing arena matches. As we come to section 6, this is the new PvP store. This is currently actually the Gold Press Latinum store. It will become the PvP store. As part of balancing, I feel that the, all the current items in the game are really designed for PvP. As if you look at all the reputation, it's always been about attacking a new foe. Voth, Terrans, Iconians, etc. Some items are so powerful, like Tech Overload, where you can deal massive amounts of damage on a player. And the same can be said for items in the lobby store as well as items on the exchange. So in the new system all items can own, uh, in, on PvP ships can only be used from the PvP store. So I feel that the current items in the game 
players are used to using them on NPCs that have obviously millions of whole hit points compared to players who have 100,000 to 150,000. So, but to keep the customization aspect, you will see that the items have loads of different modifiers. For example, obviously, if you're a science player building a PvP build, you would not be using tactical consoles based on improving energy damage, but instead there will be modifications on the tactical consoles that give extra Jane, um, EPG, control, shield healing, hull healing, damage resistance, etc. The modifiers would obviously be endless on each of um, the items in the store. Section 7, matchmaking. Now I feel there isn't much ma matchmaking going on in the public arena, so next in this section it covers how a new system will be introduced, a player rating system. That will track the amount of damage players are producing, how much healing, how many times they have died, how many times they have won matches. It will also be an online system so players will be able to see their names on a website and be able to track their own personal progress as well as see leaderboards. Section 8 covers new maps. I think the current maps in the game are quite old so if a new system was introduced a new design can go with them. I also think maybe running special events like for example fleet v fleet tournaments possibly every quarter every three months where players would have a chance to win say X amount of Zen to be given out to a team of winners. I think this would help encourage armadas and fleet leaders to to get together to plan um, you know team team builds so it would be obviously a, a, a great accomplishment if you're an armada leader or a fleet leader by seeing your name on the top 10 of a leaderboard. Karat and Otha, I think the maps should be more of a war zone. At the moment, players can enter the map and have their ability, have the chance to change all their abilities and traits and all the items on the ship. I think this should remain the same, and players should be able to bring their normal PVE ship. So instead of the new PVP set active ship, they bring their PVE ship. But I think the maps need to become a lot harder. I think the Borg need a huge buff to make them far more formidable. And I think to spice it up a bit, maybe add um, 8472 bio ships. They could swarm in whenever a player completes an objective and then start attacking players and Borg alike. And I think this, a similar concept could be also incorporated onto the Aether map. Now section 9, this is a new feature, a new ground tech tree. It's based on the missions Quark Lucky 7 and Renegades Regret. These were fantastic missions and some of my favourite ones that were introduced. On the tech tree you'll see that there are five ranks for each species available and more species can be added over time as well on further expansions. Players will start with Federation, KDF, Romulan and Dominion. They will start at rank 1 and go up to rank 5. Now currently in game there are obviously so many kit modules and players can literally kill people in less than a second. So in this design when players start at rank 1 they will have one ability and they will have five abilities once they are at the rank 5, the top rank. Now these abilities will all be preset based on the species that they are playing. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have a chance please read over the whole document and if you like it then give a thumbs up. I hope that this might give the developers a base of ideas that maybe who knows they can work from and we can all have a better PvP experience in game. Thank you.